This video is brought to you by Patreon show sponsor, your friend and mine, The Third Era, and his wife, Leslie Arambula. She's an author, a teacher, and an editor. If you need any of your work edited, please check out our website, lesliearambula.com. I will leave a link in the description below. It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and this time we are here to dyno the Kicker IQ 1000.1D. It's a Class D mono amp, but it's also a DSP. It is many things in one package. Quick caveat, this was sent to me by Kip from Kicker, so uh, take everything I say with a grain of salt, I suppose, but the numbers will speak for themselves. So uh, what do you say? We put this thing on the dyno and see what kind of power we get. All right, let's check out the bass knob real quick. Now, in my opinion, this isn't nearly as cool as the KX bass knob, but it does do more. It allows you to plug in more than one amp, which is a very cool feature. It is a little plasticky, which is not awesome, but the, uh, the potentiometer feels great in it, so I think it'll be okay. As far as the amp itself, it takes eight gauge inputs on the speaker terminals, four gauge on the power and ground. They all use the same hex key. It has an input and the all important output if you wanna use the DSP features on a non IQ amp. On the back side, we have three ways to turn this amp on, 12 volts, DC offset or audio sense, high and low level inputs, the gain X over and the kicker EQ. All right, let's start with the four ohm mono test. We're using the 40 Hertz track and we are rated 500 Watts by one at 14.4 volts. All right, we got 599 watts at 14.5 volts. We did pull 60 amps. I had that off camera, which makes it 68% efficient. We're on to the two ohms mono test. We are using the same 40 Hertz track and we were rated 1000 watts by one at 14.4 volts. Boom, we got 1161 watts at 13.8 volts. We pulled 127 amps, making it 66% efficient. I know you guys wanna see what's inside, so let's crack it open and check out the guts. So this amp met or exceeded all its ratings even at the lower voltages we got at 2 ohms mono. Pretty impressed with that part of it. This amp is more than just a subwoofer amp though. It's a full DSP. It can be linked with other IQ amps through a module. You can also use the output on this amplifier to control two channels of another amp. That's a very cool feature. This has a full DSP in it that can be utilized. So what do you guys think about that? Would you wanna see me do a video going through the software when I set it up in the Trooper? And it is going to the Trooper, so you wanna hear it on some subs, be ready for that. But yeah, if you're interested in that other video going through the Kicker DSP software, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, what'd you think about this amp? Do you have any experience with the IQ? Let me know that in the comments as well. And uh, I will catch you 
on the next video. Shout out to all my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, Gene Nava, Joaquin Juarez, Paul Smith, Byron Shambliss, The Cardio Guy, Jason Zemer, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, and Jesus Tires. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get exclusive Patreon-only content not available on YouTube. So if you want to help your boy out, check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute, you're still here? Well, I mean, I do have some more dyno footage of a whole nother Kicker IQ amp, so, uh, yeah, let's just show you that right now. Alright, this is the 4 ohm stereo test of the Kicker IQ 500.2. We're using a 1 kHz track and it is rated 125 watts by 2 at 14.4 volts. Looks like we smashed that rating at 163 watts per channel, 14.4 volts, pulled 35 amps, making it 64% efficient. Now let's do the 4 ohm mono test. Using a 40 Hz track, we are rated 500 watts by 1 at 14.4 volts. Okay, we exceeded the rating again. We got 591 watts at 14.35 volts, pulled 63.2 amps, making it 65% efficient. All right, let's put these amps side by side. Let's open them up. Let's see how the guts compare. <laughs> 